TND Sports, an exclusive video broadcast. Sports Video presents the Orlin and Cohen Boys Lacrosse Game of the Week. Today it's the Northport Tigers in here to take on the Patriots of Ward Melville High School. Hi everyone and welcome to Ward Melville High School in East Setauka, New York for our TND Sports Video Game of the Week. My name is Mike Trezza joined by Jim Furchland and Jim. Let's talk about this Northport team, a team that comes in here very stingy in terms of giving up goals and a team that is built from the back forward. Yeah, this team has been ramped up the last four games. They've only allowed 16 goals combined. So if you do the math, that's four goals a game. And they had the better half of Ward Melville a little less than three weeks ago, winning in overtime seven to six. Now that Melville is on their home field, they're looking for vengeance. And of course, with a defensive first team, Jim, we're gonna highlight a defensive player. This guy's a long pole midi, a key on defense, but also can score a little bit. That's the All-American number 54, Andrew Miller. Yeah, Miller, even though he's a defenseman, he knows how to score. 21 goals and 11 assists. He's had seven two-goal games, and he's had six three-point games. He knows how to fill it up, make his teammates look good, and, of course, Coach Sarasi knows how to do that. And let's talk about Ward Melville for just a couple minutes. They beat Longwood in their first playoff game to improve to 13-4 and four overall on this season, and they come in here on a roll. Yeah, Ward Melville, 12-2 and two in conference play. Their last game was probably their best defensive game against the Longwood Lions. Held them to just two goals. And as we're getting into the playoffs against a really heated matchup between these two, it's going to be a barn burner the whole way. And the player we're going to highlight for them is one of their key scorers on offense, number two, Nico Barbero. Yeah, Barbero leads this team in scoring over 30 goals on the year he has five hat tricks this season, so he really knows how to fill it up, along with 20 assists. So being a facilitator, along with just being a superstar for the Patriots, and he will need to play a key part against the stingy Tiger defense. Just about set for the opening face-off from here at Ward Melville High School in East Setauket. Mike Trezza, Jim Furchland, and our entire TND Sports video crew on hand to bring you this one. This is going to be a great game, Jim, a rematch of a game that took place just two weeks ago. Yeah. It's looking for all the pieces are there. The offense has ramped up for the Patriots, and the defense has really ramped up for the Tigers. Look forward to see how Nico Barbero can stent against this really stout 
Tigers defense. And you want to talk about someone, also look out, Michael Titman. He's going to be another one to watch for the Tigers in between the pipes for Northport. Our goalie matchup, as Jim mentions, Titman for Northport. And for Ward Melville, it's Charlie Giacchetti. Giacchetti Taking a look 138 at our saves on the season. Taking a quick look at our coaching matchup for Northport. It is Larry Sarasi, a Stony Brook alum, and for Ward Melville, of course, Coach Jay Nagus, who is a UMass alum. And went to this high school. Just about set for the opening face-off. It's going to be Mike Kitevsky taking the face-off for Ward Melville. He will work against Dylan Baumgart. Ward Melville in the home white will move right to left. And Northport in the visiting blue with the yellow numbers will go left to right. Gene Higgins is our lead official. Mike Delia, Dan Backety, and Charlie Collins round out our, our officiating crew here today. Big crowd here in East Setauket for this semifinal. Can you say it's rambunctious in here? Ward Melville student section to our right is already at fever pitch, Jim. As I mentioned, it's going to be Kitevsky taking the opening face-off, working against Dylan Baumgart. Kitevsky gets low, gets possession. Right Ward Melvin will go on the attack. Gets it up top. Andrew Bella on the far side. He's the quarterback of the football team. Dishes off to Brody Morgan, another football player. Britton near, Brittman near side. And now Ward Melville will work it around the horn, try to feel things out here a little bit. Just underway first quarter. Ward Melville in Northport. Semi-final action. Trevor Murray, the attackman slash midi with possession. Now to X to Barbero. Barbero tries to come around. Nice feed in front. And that shot's turned away. Good save by Titman. Pin Rosano went a little towards the left side. Titman was there, but I think he missed the post. Ward Melville will keep it. There's a shot. Not Speaking sure if that one hits the post. Speaking of the post, right there, Belli had a great opportunity. I think Titman got a gift there. Northport on offense for the first time. And I'm not sure, Mike, if that bounced and hit the post. Titman tried to find Miller ahead. The ball is stolen. Back the other way is Brody Morgan. Morgan still with possession. Thought about cranking it up and then backed it out. It's taken from him. It's the hero, Valenti. Valenti tried to feed in front. It went off the stick of Della Verde. Once again, Ward Melville back with possession. Cosentino. Cosentino drops it off to Stellwagen. Stellwagen. Tries to get it ahead, and we've got a timeout. We'll step away and be back with more after this. This is the Orland and Cohen Game of the Week on t and Sports Video. Jump shot, leave your knee shot? We've got specialists for that. Face down after that face off? We've got specialists for that. Half pipe, leave you full of pain? We've got specialists for that. Orland & Cohen's top orthopedic team has specialized expertise and extensive training from the nation's premier programs in sports medicine, knee, shoulder, hip, spine, hand, foot, and ankle, so you can feel better, faster. 
2023-24 New York Riptide season tickets are on sale now. Join us at the Nassau Coliseum. Riptide games are action-packed and fun for the whole family. Don't wait. Get your season tickets now. We'll see you at the Coliseum. Lacks and a lie. Female owned, female coach, female inspired. The only girls lacrosse sports performance company on Long Island. Training youth, high school, and collegiate female athletes from Suffolk and Nassau. We focus on skill, speed, strength, nutrition, mental performance, recruitment support, and select competitive teams. We are supporting you to be the best girls lacrosse player you can be on and off the field. There you see shot of the crowd here at Ward Melville in East Setauket. <clears throat> they are pumped for this semifinal game. A lot of different expectations to look from either side. But well, Ward Melville has controlled the ball more. However, it just comes down to missed opportunities for Northport. Della Birdie had a chance and he couldn't catch it cleanly, resulting in the turnover. Morgan sends it far side to Murray. Murray. Still with possession. Vassallo on him. Yeah, he's really locked him up early so far. Murray. Now this side, Barbaro. Barbaro puts. with two in a row. Sorry for those technical difficulties, but we're back live, and there's a save. A beautiful save by Gia Chetty. Now high at, right above the head, good instincts. Could have been a 3-1 game. That's only amplified this Patriot crowd to our right. As a save by Titman. Titman gets it ahead. Gets it to Zemus. Zemus carries it in to Miller. Thought about the shot, now spins. Still with possession. He's got Belli on him. Andrew Miller gets it behind the cage. Amala, Amala up top to Cash, Miller, turns and fires, shot goes wide. No, another Andrew Miller has a lefty slingshot, play for the Yankees. First thing I thought of when I saw their <laughs> exactly. roster. Sodom throw too. And we've got a flag flying in. Late penalty coming up. Meanwhile, Ward Melville back on the attack. Thomas Murphy's now in. Murphy. Uncorks one. Hit the post. They're going to call it a goal. Whoa. Wow. We're gonna have to get another look at that one, Jim, see exactly what happened. So check it out right here on our screen. It's gonna be really fast. Too fast, but still. But in either case, Ward Melville does tie it at two. We're down to 534 left in a fast-moving first quarter. Semi-final action. From here at Ward Melville and East Setauket, Mike Trezor, Jim Furchlin on hand with our T&D sports video crew it was Tom Murphy who scored that last goal for, floor, for uh, Ward Melville. Ironic thing enough about Ward Melville as well, you have several Murphys. You have Morgan, Morgan, and Murphy. 
You got Murray. He won the middle school for Warm Neville is Murphy. <laughs> Brody Morgan tried to get fancy, left the ball behind. Shot came anyway, and it sailed over the crossbar. But Northport is going to take over. We're kind of in the neutral zone here. You have Ward Neville's crowd to our right and a smaller Northport crowd that's still unpacking their bags here in the stands. Setting up camp. Carried in by Reynolds. Reynolds dishes it far side. Northport trying to slow this game down a little bit, Jim. We need an extra time in regulation for the first matchup two weeks ago. Cash now goes to work. Tries to get it up top, shot is deflected, and Ward Melville takes over. Outstanding defense by Aiden McMinn. McMinn, one of their big guns on defense, you saw why on that play. Here's Miller back the other way. Here's a break, there's a shot, there's a score! There's your guy. Lyakino. Yes, it is. Big goal for Luke. Let's it rip. And it was all set up from Jonathan Alfaro. Good dish, starts it up. And no shot for Giacchetti. Coach Rossi says he likes having that lefty on D. That's Al Ferry, and as you mentioned, Jim, he was the assister on that play. Nice goal by Lyakano. Here's the face-off this time. Ward Melville comes away with it. Madden Murphy taking care of business on that play. They swing it around the near side. Talk about a lacrosse name, Madden Murphy. Named after the legendary John Madden, I'm sure. <laughs> Belli with a shot. There's a save by Tittman. Tittman clears. What a pass. Here's Miller. High shots over the crossbar. Doing a little too much. Miller didn't see anybody. Might have done well to back it out. Tried to take it in his own hands. But Northport is going to keep. Lyakano's behind the cage. Does anyone that we've really looked so far in this game has been Andrew Belli. He's taken three snipe shots from about 25 yards out twice, and he hasn't capitalized on either of them for Ward Melvin. DeMaro near side. Lyakano. Lyakano, oh. in front, over the shoulder shot. There's a score. Beautiful shot, Steven Rose. Oh, actually, it's Amala. Watch this pass. Lyakano goes around, sets it up wide open. And Amala. His second of the day early in the first quarter. Ward Melville back on offense with Murphy. That, that was. Two combined. Luke to Luca. Down to 220 left in the first quarter. Ward Melville trails by two. Looking to get back on the board. Northport, two time defending. Big schools champ. 
Watch out for Quinn Reynolds here, defending Gaffney close. Gaffney, shot is deflected and it's back the other way with Northport. And Northport just has more exhilaration in their game today. Tried and to get it ahead to Alfaro, he couldn't handle it. And McMahon finally gets his hands on it, but it is gonna stay with Northport. That was the matchup we were looking for so far. Northport's defense has prevailed. Here's Miller, fire, and there's a save, Giacchetti. That right in the chest. Loose ball, and it's controlled by Northport. On the break with Cash, he stops and pulls it out. And there's Al Mala making the defensive play on both sides of the field so far. Every time it seems Ward Mill in the last five or six minutes they have an opportunity, they turn it over. And it's all credit to Sarasi's defense. Now Northport will whip it around the horn. Now back up top. Cash looks to one cork one. And finally, Della Birdie does. Can't get it on net. Well, Della Birdie had an opportunity early in the game he had a pass and it didn't go into his stick cleanly and that caused a turnover. But now he's got his first shot on goal. Cash looks to get rid of it to Amala. They close on him. Here's Delaberti. They quickly double him and he has to give it up to Cash. Delaberti. Nice feed in front, turn and fire. What a save. That was the post. Reynolds met with the crossbar, had an opportunity again. And so far, that's the third shot that we've seen in this first quarter launch off the post. That's the end of the first quarter. Our score after one quarter of play is Northport four, Ward Melville two. We'll step away, be back with much more right after this. This is the Arlen and Cohen Game of the Week. Not feeling the love after your last tennis match? We've got specialists for that. Running for the train, derail your knee? We've got specialists for that. Diving after that grounder, leaving you grounded? We've got specialists for that. Orland and Cohen's top orthopedic team has specialized expertise and extensive training from the nation's premier programs in sports medicine, knee, shoulder, hip, spine, hand, foot, and ankle, so you can feel better, faster. Incredible pass. Olivia Johnson on the other end, and then a goal back for for Farmingdale. Double comes every time, Selena beats it. He's gotta give it up, he does to his brother who scores. Spelina to Spelina. We have Leonetti behind her. Batika fires and a save by Bowden. Her fourth already. Fourth in seven minutes. And another one! Oh my, what instincts! And her hitting score! Gives it up, McNamara. He rips it and he scores! Experience, trusted, proven, excellence. Over 20 years of professional sports video production, the industry standard, TND Sports Video Production. Whether it's a single game, a whole season, or a college recruitment video, TND Sports is your one-stop video solution. TND Sports Video Productions. Second quarter underway. Madden Murphy wins the faceoff. 
and Northport takes it right back. Another turnover for Ward Melville. And that was Barbaro who had it cleanly. And here's Andrew Miller. Miller on the move, dumps it off near side. Northport leads four to two, looking for that third consecutive county championship. Semi-final action here at Ward Melville. Mike Trezza and Jim Furchlin on hand to bring it to you. Reynolds, up top Cash. Now DeMaro, far side, carries it around. It's Amala. Amala's got McMinn on him. Amala looking to make his move. He's cut off to the other side. Cash back around to DeMaro. Belly, Belli after it. Can't get it. Good dish to Cash. He lets it go. Shots blocked in front. Good defense by Murphy. Has a great contest from the Patriots defense. Now you have Northport back at the X. This time Belli playing defense and there's McMinn on Amala. Amala. Behind the cage for Reynolds. Good ball movement, looking for just the right shot. Wasn't that one as it sails high. And Reynolds rifled one above the head of Giacchetti. Northport will maintain possession. I thought Ward Melville got a piece of that shot. Goes up top, Lyakano. Now working the outside is Northport. They lead by two. Here's a shot, here's a save, Giacchetti. Yeah, if they can hold down McClam in the offensive game, what Mel will be okay. Murphy carries in to Bella. Bella's knocked off the play, we've got a flag coming in. Push from behind with possession. It was the extension of the arm, likely, and that was against Quinn Reynolds, the 35. <laughs> Now, is this a man-up opportunity for the Patriots? Ward Melville. 30 seconds. Man up for 30. Vileko now in there on the man up. To Britman. Looking for a cutter in front. Here's the shot. And there's the save, Titman. Rebound, put back in. Nico. That was absolutely incredible instincts. Looking for the rebound. Watch the replay again here. See, see the shot? It's ripped by Barbero. Watch his instincts. Sees the ball's alive. It's still there. And credited by Vallejo. Barbero's second goal on the day has just cut it to a 4-3. to three. Northport lead. We're down to 8.50 left in the second half, left in the second quarter. It is still the first half. Nice face-off win by Baumgart. Miller, long shot, save Giacchetti. Giacchetti with the clear. Ward Melville on the break. 
And he stripped, and it's back the other way, Northport. Baylor, that was quick. Tried to get it to Vassallo. Couldn't get it there. And we've got a whistle. Yeah, the, phys the physicality with the stakes on the line for this game will only increase, and we're not even halfway through this game. Ward Every Melville back match. on offense. Belli on the far side. Stops and waits for help. Trevor Murray. Ward Melville looking to set up in front. A lot of motion. Little deliberate here. Murray high over the crossbar. Yeah, but Savo and Reynolds really stingy, like glue on the Patriots defensively. As Britman takes it from behind the cage. Gives it up to Folkman. They'll transition Folkman and get Brody Morgan back out there. Quick shot. Turned away Titman. Another save by Tittman. That's He's his got that stick up there quick. The precision and timing to know where that ball is going to wound up inches away from its face and is able to make the defensive play is incredible. Four saves from Mike Tittman. And four for Giacchetti. We're going to step away and be back with more right after this as Northport leads four to three. Jump shot, leave your knee shot. We've got specialists for that. Face down after that face off. We've got specialists for that. Half pipe, leave you full of pain. We've got specialists for that. Orland and Cohen's top orthopedic team has specialized expertise and extensive training from the nation's premier programs in sports medicine, knee, shoulder, hip, spine, hand, foot, and ankle, so you can feel better, faster. 2023-24 New York Riptide season tickets are on sale now. Join us at the Nassau Coliseum. Riptide games are action-packed and fun for the whole family. Don't wait. Get your season tickets now. Let's go, Riptide! We'll see you at the Coliseum. Barbero, Jim, we wondered if he would be able to solve uh, Northport's stingy defense, but two goals so far. Two of the three goals that have been scored by the Patriots. That last one so critical on the rebound right in front of Titman. Barbell picked it up and was able to fly it right past Michael in between the pipes to make it a one goal game. Without Barbero tonight, this could be a today. This could right now be a one-sided affair in favor of the Tigers. Student sections on both sides, very boisterous. Cash has it near side. Belli comes over to check him. Sends it up top, Macklem. DeMaro nearly loses it. Ground ball, who's got it? Still loose. 
Still lose. I'll tell you that, Timothy McLamb did not give up on that play, and he still got it. That was Lyacano. And they're gonna say it goes, or actually it stays with Northwood. I guess the right call. Northport up four to three. Down to five and a half left before halftime. Semi-final action. Both goaltenders. Four goals up, four saves apiece, I should say. That one wide right on the attempt Scoop from shot. Cash. From Cash. Marrow gives it up to Cash, sends it up top. Della Birdie looking for the shot. That is a risk by Giacchetti going outside the cage behind towards the X to retrieve that ball. Not a lot of goalies will do that. Giacchetti coming way out, trying to get the clear, but instead it's a loose ball. Scramble for it on the far side. And finally, it's picked up by Zemos. Zemos loses it. There's Barbero again, down in the trenches. Ever since this second quarter has begun, it has not been a clean game. Ball's been on the ground. Team's been skirmishing for possession. You gotta love it. Barbero if you're looking for physicality. From Zemos. Two on two crime. Belli tried to get the pass in front, got knocked over in the process by Valenti. Yeah, Belli looking for Britman. Got a clean pass and lost control. Simple as that. Northport looking to carry it in with Reynolds. Reynolds still with possession, a little spin on the far side. Very suave with the spin move on that. Here's Miller. Miller gives it up, Cash. Sends it far side. Macklem. Macklem looking to put on a move. Dumps it off to Cash. Miller sets the pick. Turn and fire and score! Loyacono, second goals of the game on the pick from Andrew Miller. And he rings the bell behind Giacchetti. Doink and in. Take Takes a bow. A bow. And Northport takes a 5-3 to three lead. 320 three left. I think that bow is to make sure that everyone pronounces his name correctly. They will make sure of that now. Ward Melville looking to make something happen. They want to get one back quickly if they can. Pop is in there and he's on the back pedal. Gets it off to Gaffney. Pop is out high. It's a crucial possession here for War Melvin. They need to get something out of it. Got that second midi line in there. Gaffney, Pop, and Vileka. Shot from Gaffney goes wide. A lot of wide shots because they've been erratic. But you got to credit Northport's defense for keeping Tittman clean in between the crease. Down to two and a half left. Patriots down by two. Gaffney. Gaffney with the shot. Tittman with the save. Five on the day. Five on the day. 
two minutes left in the half. Ward Melville up by, uh, trails by two. Take some time off the clock here, Jim. This is some comfortable lead they have. They're riding out with those momentum over the last four games. Watch out for that number four. They've won four in a row. I've only allowed four goals in their last four games. Right now, Melville, they have three. Yes, Miller, four. he hits the post. Got a whistle, we've got a timeout. We're gonna step away and be back with more right after this. Jump shot, leave your knee shot? We've got specialists for that. Face down after that face off? We've got specialists for that. Half pipe, leave you full of pain? We've got specialists for that. Orland and Cohen's top orthopedic team has specialized expertise and extensive training from the nation's premier programs in sports medicine, knee, shoulder, hip, spine, hand, foot, and ankle, so you can feel better, faster. 2023-24 New York Riptide season tickets are on sale now. Join us at the Nassau Coliseum. Riptide games are action-packed and fun for the whole family. Don't wait. Get your season tickets now. Let's go, Riptide! We'll see you at the Coliseum. Blacks on a lie. Female owned. Female inspired. The only girls lacrosse sports performance company on Long Island. Training youth, high school, and collegiate female athletes from Suffolk and Nassau. We focus on skill, speed, strength, nutrition, mental performance, recruitment support, and select competitive teams. We are supporting you to be the best girls lacrosse player you can be on and off the field. There you see the Northport crowd rarely behind their team here this afternoon, Jim. They've been loud, chanting Michael Titman's name as if this is Yankee Stadium and really getting behind their team. Well, Andrew Miller, another former Yankee, he's doing a lot of work in this game on both sides, including that really close rifle. I want to know the exit velo on that release off that post. Down to a minute seven left before halftime. Let's see if Ward Melville can get one on the board. But first they've got to get the ball back. As Northport has it, his cash on the near side. DeMaro far side. Comes back to cash on the near side. Serving a lot of clock, the Tigers right here. Down to 30 seconds. Looking to drain some clock and put one more on the board. Reynolds. Reynolds on the move. There's the shot and there's the score by Amala, second of the game. Actually make it three. Got the hat trick, Amala. Yeah, watch the replay. The defense kind of sagged off here. It went right past McMinn. Amala scooped right past Giacchetti. That's impressive. Had to the first half. Down to 12 seconds left. And Northport is double Ward Melville's output, six to three. Baumgart has been doing a good job on those face-off. There he takes the shot. Giacchetti flings it back the other way. And that's going to be the end of the first half. A uh, score after one half of play. Northport 6, Ward Melville 3. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back with some halftime coverage right after this. This is the Orland and Cohen High School Lacrosse Game of the Week. Brought to you by TD Sports Video Productions. 
jump shot, leave your knee shot? We've got specialists for that. Face down after that face off? We've got specialists for that. Half pipe, leave you full of pain? We've got specialists for that. Orland & Cohen's top orthopedic team has specialized expertise and extensive training from the nation's premier programs in sports medicine, knee, shoulder, hip, spine, hand, foot, and ankle, so you can feel better, faster. Twenty twenty three twenty four New York Riptide season tickets are on sale now. Join us at the Nassau Coliseum. Riptide games are action packed and fun for the whole family. Don't wait. Get your season tickets now. Let's go, Riptide! We'll see you at the Coliseum. Lacks on a lie. Female owned, female coach, female inspired the only girls lacrosse sports performance company on Long Island, training youth, high school, and collegiate female athletes from Suffolk and Nassau. We focus on skill, speed, strength, nutrition, mental performance, recruitment support, and select competitive teams. We are supporting you to be the best girls lacrosse player you can be on and off the field. Not feeling the love after your last tennis match? We've got specialists for that. Running for the train, derail your knee? We've got specialists for that. Diving after that grounder, leaving you grounded? We've got specialists for that. Orland & Cohen's top orthopedic team has specialized expertise and extensive training from the nation's premier programs in sports medicine, knee, shoulder, hip, spine, hand, foot, and ankle. So you can feel better, faster. Incredible pass. Olivia Johnson on the other end. And then a goal back for for Farmingdale. Double comes every time. Selena beats him. He's got to give it up. He does to his brother who scores. Spelina to Spelina. You have Leonetti behind her. Batika fires and a save by Bowden. Her fourth already. Fourth in seven minutes. And another one! Oh my, what instincts! And her hitting score! Gives it up, McNamara. He grips it and he scores! Experience. Trusted. Proven. Excellence. Over 20 years of professional sports video production. The industry standard. TND Sports Video Production. Whether it's a single game, a whole season, or a college recruitment video, TND Sports is your one stop video solution. D&D Sports Video Productions. All sports. All, all the time. Not feeling the love after your last tennis match? We've got specialists for that. Running for the train, derail your knee? We've got specialists for that. Diving after that grounder, leaving you grounded? We've got specialists for that. 
Orland & Cohen's top orthopedic team has specialized expertise and extensive training from the nation's premier programs in sports medicine, knee, shoulder, hip, spine, hand, foot, and ankle. So you can feel better, faster. Incredible pass. Johnson on the other end. And then a goal back four for Farmingdale. Double comes every time. Spillina beats him. He's got to give it up. He does to his brother who scores. Spillina to Spillina. We have Leonetti behind her. Batika fires and a save by Bowden. Her fourth already. Fourth in seven minutes. And another one. Oh my, what instincts. Then her mini score. Gives it up, McNamara. He rips it and he scores. Experience. Trusted. Proven. Excellence. Over 20 years of professional sports video production. The industry standard. TND Sports Video Production. Whether it's a single game, a whole season, or a college recruitment video, TND Sports is your one stop video solution. D&D Sports Video Productions. All sports, all levels, all the time. Not feeling the love after your last tennis match? We've got specialists for that. Running for the train, derail your knee? We've got specialists for that. Diving after that grounder, leaving you grounded? We've got specialists for that. Orland & Cohen's top orthopedic team has specialized expertise and extensive training from the nation's premier programs in sports medicine, knee, shoulder, hip, spine, hand, foot, and ankle. So you can feel better, faster. Incredible pass. Oh, Johnson on the other end. And then a goal back four for Farmingdale. Double comes every time Spillina beats him. He's got to give it up. He does to his brother who scores. Spillina to Spillina. We have Leonetti behind her. Batika fires and a save by Bowden. Her fourth already. Fourth in seven minutes. And another one! Oh my, what instincts! And then her hitting score! Gives it up, McNamara. He rips it and he scores! Welcome back to Ward Melville High School in East Setauket. Mike Trezor on hand along with Jim Furchland and our entire TND Sports video crew to give you this semi-final game. Northport leads Ward Melville 6-3 at halftime. And Jim, let's talk about the way the first half unfolded. Yeah, what well, you really saw Ward Melville start off. Barbero had that first goal and then right back, the long stickman, Mitty, Andrew Miller who has had his paws all over this game. Several shots on goal, a couple of them off the post. But how about you want to look at 
a real specialty. How about Luca Almele? Already a hat trick in the first, what, 24 minutes here at War Melville. He has been a key asset for the Tigers and why they have a 6 to 3 advantage. Second half about to face off. Not yet. <laughs> Procedure call. We'll send the ball to Ward Melville. Ward Melville in the white. We'll move right to left here in the second, or I should say in the third quarter. Northport in the blue uniforms, yellow letters. They lead six to three, just underway here third quarter. Well, number two in white, the number on his back, that's the amount of goals he has in this game already. Barbaro thought about it, passed it up with Alfaro on it. They work it around, they try to find a player on the run and it skips off the stick of Aleko. Ball's loose at midfield. Battle for it. Belli's in there, but Miller takes it away. Miller shoots. Nice save that time, Giacchetti. We have a whistle. And a flag. Now, I thought that was a crease infraction. I thought Miller was way too close and may have crossed inside the blue circle where Giacchetti was. If we can watch this again, Miller taking it all by himself. Now he's outside the circle. Again, that's the third time his shot has ricocheted off the crossbar. We've got a slash, so Northport is going man up for 30. Melville needs a stop. Della Birdie, he's been quiet. Gets it far side to Cash. Let's watch the top of that box. Della Birdie saved Giacchetti. It's the sixth save for number 22. Murphy quickly into the offensive zone. Very swift with the stick in his left hand. Tom Murphy, the rope team specialist. Now backs it out. Takes a hard hit from DeMaro. Murphy still with possession. Now down the far corner. Ward Melville still being deliberate on the offense. And they, they, I don't think they know what to do. Just got to make sure that, th I think they, they're nervous. They don't want to make any more crucial mistakes. Great defense by Reynolds. And it really close to Rosano. Barbaro thought about it, passed it up. Nice feed in front. And there is a goal by Rosano. And you want to talk about the effort. That was all on that was all on Morgan. Sucking in the defense right here. Draws in all this attention. Morgan right there leaves the wide open look for Rosano. Great pass down to a two-goal game. Morgan weaved his way around Alfaro. So now it's 6-4. Ward Melville right back in this game. Now the wide receiver being the quarterback on that play. Two face-off guys still locked in a battle. Let's see who can get lower and get possession. Katevsky. And it is Baumgart who comes away with possession, but ball's loose at midfield. Kicked around. Alfaro with the, with the ground ball. We've got a 
push and it's keeping the ball with Northport. You gotta really credit Lyakano with his lower body strength, really contesting to keep possession with the Tigers. And that last goal by Rosano, he's second on the team in goals. That's his 28th on the year. Ward Melville with the only goal so far this quarter. They trail six to four. 8.15 left in the third. From here at Ward Melville and he's to talk it. Mike Trezza along with Jim Furch. Miller, couple spins. Can't get away, has to give it up. Andrew Miller now back with possession. El Male. Loose ball comes to Miller. Miller with Belli working him over. Great recovery from Belli. There was an opportunity. Good fake. Shot is blocked in front. Rebound. Put back in by Layakino. Three goals on the day. It's all about the Lucas. You got Luca and Luke doing all the offense so far. The only other person to score who has been Miller. You already have three from Luca, and now you have three from Luke. Luke Lyakino, the freshman, with three goals on the day, has just put his team up by three as Northport is on top of Ward Melville. Seven to four. Down to 720 left, and Morgan comes away with it for Ward Melville. Reynolds tries to knock him off the play, keeps possession. Cosentino nearly loses it. They're just watching the ball. Someone's mask falls off. Quinn Reynolds is hot. Let's see what that whistle is. Looks like Northport's crowd's consistent with it. Reynolds, you see him there without the helmet. His play got a little physical in the neutral zone. And when, when we were on our way to this game, we saw War Melville come up, fired up, coming out to Van Halen, and they were absolutely electric in practice. But <laughs> as soon as Northport came in, they're trying to make this their own, and so far they have. Around the horn goes Northport. Up top, Patrick DeMauro. DeMauro quickly, they close on him. And it's only more discouraging for Ward Melville. Good feet in front, but the shot goes wide. Yeah, that was a miss from McClam. You have not seen one goal yet from Jack Delaverde, and meanwhile you have Al Male and Lyakano, who have really are been the offensive catalyst for the Tigers. Lyakano up top to DeMaro. Spin move, El Male. Good dish. Lyakano is turned away this time by Giacchetti. He's hit hard by McMinn. the lone pink stick on the field. Pass skips by. Ooh. The aggression starting to step up too. Mayakino, near side. Up top to Mara. And Stellwagon delivered a shot to Mayakino behind the cage. Shot, Lyakino scores again, fourth time today. And they're going nuts to our left. Lyakino came in today with eight goals. He had two four point games, great dish. Della Birdie sees the opening. Lyakino, one on one, puts it past the defense. 
and he is having a stellar performance. He has four. half of his number he came in with today. He had eight goals. He's got four of them today against the Patriots. Northport is now double Ward Melville's output. They're up eight to four. Five minutes left in the third. And again, Baumgart wins the faceoff. He's been key all afternoon. Della Birdie has not been able to get a lot done so far. Doesn't matter. <laughs> He's been a decoy. by four. Most goals Northport has allowed in a single game this year was 11, and that was at Connecticut in late April. But now if you're the Tigers, you don't really have an urgency to score. Just wear out that, that Ward Menville defense and force Negus to make some adjustments, but it might be too late. Damaro, knocked off the play by Morgan. Cash looking for room, instead sends it up top. Here's Reynolds near side to Lyakina. Lyakina patted down by Stellwagen. Ball's loose in front, knocked up in the air. Stellwagen comes away with possession. Another loose ball. Tries to get it ahead. Cosentino still loose at midfield. No call on that play. Looked like a trip. And now a flag comes out. Play's getting very physical. Here's a shot. Save Giacchetti. They're going to deny the goal. Giacchetti kept that just in front of the pipeline. Looks like a possible slash upcoming. Getting physical, just like Mike's getting physical with me on this replay, but Giacchetti, crucial save. And that would have been yet another goal from Almale, but Giacchetti denied it. Three eleven left in the third. Northport leads by four in this semifinal. From here at Ward Melville and East Setauke. And is it just me, Mike? But every single time a loose ball is on the ground, it's just bouncing the Tigers' way. Ward Melville, they're kind of not being as aggressive. They're watching the ball roll. That's what Sarasi wanted to do. They wanted it to control the middle of the field, contest, and get in transition. They've done all those categories. Loyakino turns and fires and scores. Fifth time today for Lyakino. And what'd you say in the beginning of this broadcast? Is this guy gonna have a good game? Oh my. How about a tomahawk over the D? No shot for Stellwagen or Giacchetti. Ball the game's starting to get away from Ward Melville now as Northport up nine to four. Lyakino's got the last three goals in this quarter. And that one, he was in the same exact position as the previous one. Just to the left of the goalkeeper, from point blank range, he puts it home, puts his team up by five. We've got two and a half left in the third. Got a quick whistle. Higgins, our lead official. So far, Jim, the 
North Court defense has been too much, and on offense, Loyakino and a couple others have been, too, have been too much. That's been the story. Two, 10 left in the third. Tigers up by five. Looking for a three-peat possibly this year. We're under two minutes left to go in the third. You can tell the confidence for Lyakino sky high right now. This has been his game. It's watched by Belli. Hands it off to Cash. Cash has Murphy on him. And somebody get a cow out on the timer because they're milking this clock. Loyakino. Bunky puts the hammer down on him and gets possession. Interesting call. Ward Melville needs to capitalize on any opportunity they can and they need to do it clean and quick. Like it's this. Belli. Pass is broken up in front. Now, Valaiko couldn't get a clean hold on it, and it results in a turnover. Northport, it appears they're just in the Patriots' head. Lord Melville possession, very, very short on that trip. Reynolds weaves his way through traffic. Gives it up, Miller, near side. Miller, perhaps the most offensive-minded long pole midi we've seen, Jim. Yeah, that's a rarity in this sport. El Male, couple spins, and they get to him before he gets that shot away. That's aggressive, 25 seconds left to go. They need to go out and running. Yes, Murphy. Running. Murphy trying to take it all the way. Turns, fires. Turned away by Titman. Seven saves from Michael Titman. Down to two, one. That's the end of the third. Northport leads by five. End of the third. We're back with more right after this. This is the TD Sports Video Game of the Week, brought to you by Orland Coat. Jump shot, leave your knee shot? We've got specialists for that. Face down after that face off? We've got specialists for that. Half pipe, leave you full of pain? We've got specialists for that. Orland and Cohen's top orthopedic team has specialized expertise and extensive training from the nation's premier programs in sports medicine, knee, shoulder, hip, spine, hand, foot, and ankle, so you can feel better, faster. 2023-24 New York Riptide season tickets are on sale now. Join us at the Nassau Coliseum. Riptide games are action-packed and fun for the whole family. Don't wait. Get your season tickets now. Let's go, Riptide! We'll see you at the Coliseum. Back everyone to Ward Melville High School here in East Setauket. Mike Trezza on hand along with Jim Furchland, our entire crew. Nine to four, Northport leads Ward Melville after three. What can Ward Melville do now, Jim? Uh, they just need to keep their offensive, their offensive mindset intact. They did play a little sloppy in that third quarter. Lyakano really controlled, had a hat trick in that quarter alone for the Tigers. They just need to keep their offensive pace at play, not think too much, and just play their game. They've done that well over the course of the last 17 games, and they've won 13 of them. Dylan Baumgart 
has done a great job on faceoffs for Northport. He'll take this one against Katevsky. And again, Northport comes away. Quick shot and a score, Della Birdie. Della Birdie came in with close to 90 points this season, and he scores for the first time today. That was impressive. On the bounce, off the post, and that's unguardable. That gives Della Birdie his 58th goal of the year. And that now gives him 87 points on the season. You saw McMahon, a very good defender, come over just a second too late to try to bother that shot by Della Birdie. As now, Northport leads by a half dozen. Here's Miller, Giacchetti down to his knees to make the save. That's his seventh. Seven for Titman, seven for Giacchetti. Here's Morgan, little spin. Okay, four goals for Ward Melville today, two from Bar Barbero. You have one from Murphy and one from Rosano recently. Morgan gives it up up top, Belli. Tries to find Barbero. Barbero has to give it up back up top. Here's Belli. Couple moves, working against Reynolds. Belli in the first half took two shots from about 25 yards out. They missed both of them. But this is great defense from Nicholas Zemus. Ward Melville still being patient. 10-15 left in the game. They trail by a half dozen. Trevor Murray. He's knocked off the play. <laughs> you can even see Derek Vassallo on that defensive recovery on McMurray shaking his head, saying, you're not getting around me. Murray saved Titman. Eight on the day. Had a season high 16 against Port Washington, and he had eight saves the last time they played Ward Melville. Della Berti, near side. They knock it away from him, and they knock him down, and here comes the flag. Della Berti's down. Della Berti got a rough ride on that play. Yeah, check this out. He's still down, flipping over to his side. In between, I believe, three different Patriots. This is something you never want to see. We're going to step away and be back with more right after this. Jump shot, leave your knee shot? We've got specialists for that. Face down after that face off? We've got specialists for that. Half pipe, leave you full of pain? We've got specialists for that. Orland and Cohen's top orthopedic team has specialized expertise and extensive training from the nation's premier programs in sports medicine, knee, shoulder, hip, spine, hand, foot, and ankle, so you can feel better, faster. 2023-24 New York Riptide season tickets are on sale now. Join us at the Nassau Coliseum. Riptide games are action-packed and fun for the whole family. Don't wait. Get your season tickets now. Let's go, Riptide! We'll see you at the Coliseum. Blacks on a lie. Female-owned, female-coach, female-inspired. The only girls lacrosse sports performance company on Long Island. Training youth, high school, and collegiate female athletes from Suffolk and Nassau. We focus on skill, speed, strength, nutrition, mental performance, recruitment support, and select competitive teams. We are supporting you to be the best girls lacrosse player you can be on and off the field.
Tomorrow we've got flag football action coming your way. County final. That's going to be exciting. Half Hollow Hills taking on Pat Med in that game tomorrow at 4. I know it says 5 there, but it is a 4 o'clock start. Also, subscribe to TND's YouTube channel. You'll get updates, all info, and more right at your fingertips. Back to live action with Northport leading by six. Della Birdie got shaken up on that play. Left the field. Down to nine minutes left to go. Northport content to whip it around here, Jim. They sure are, and the magic number the last four games has been four. That's the average amount of goals allowed by Northport. Right now, Melville, they got four themselves. It all goes credit to Coach Larry Saras' defense. We're at a two minute penalty right now for the hit that got put on Della Birdie. So, Ward Melville, or I should say Northport, can just take some time off the clock, just whip it around the perimeter as they're doing now. Melville's going to have to chase, try to get it away at some point. And it's Ward Melville's defenseman, Constantino, who's sitting in the box. There's a shot from Cash. Cash puts it in. Funny. You're waiting to use that one. <laughs> right through the wickets of Giacchetti. And it wasn't, wasn't by much. Just trimmed the back of the net. Squirts in between the defense of Armado and Murphy. Give Logan cash. He says, I want one goal. And he deposits one into the bank. Cash with a ring of fire on that goal. 11 to four. Northport on top of Ward Melville. Down to seven and a half left in this game. Okay. Winner goes on to meet the winner of Sachem East and Connecticut. That game going on right at this moment. Logan Cash, that's now his 16th goal of the season. He did have two hat tricks, one against Midtown East, the other against Comac. And that might just be the cherry on top for the Tigers in this one. Ward Melville again trying to eat some clock here. Down to 6.45 left, a dish in front goes off the stick. Recovered, taken behind. Now Malay not far off from his fourth goal. Pretty even early on, but Northport in the second started pulling away. And the third, they really put the pedal to the metal and sort of put this game away. Who was there first? Stick with the Tigers. Is Cash spins and gives up. Macklem almost loses it, he recovers. 
Up top, Cash. Shot goes wide. Cash looking to make another deposit there. <laughs> got a timeout we're gonna step away and be back with more right after this jump shot leave your knee shot we've got specialists for that face down after that face off we've got specialists for that half pipe leave you full of pain we've got specialists for that Orland & Cohen's top orthopedic team has specialized expertise and extensive training from the nation's premier programs in sports medicine, knee, shoulder, hip, spine, hand, foot, and ankle, so you can feel better faster. 2023-24 New York Riptide season tickets are on sale now. Join us at the Nassau Coliseum. Riptide games are action-packed and fun for the whole family. Don't wait. Get your season tickets now. Let's go, Riptide! We'll see you. The Coliseum. Blacks on a lie. Female owned, female coach, female inspired. The only girls lacrosse sports performance company on Long Island. Training youth, high school, and collegiate female athletes from Suffolk and Nassau. We focus on skill, speed, strength, nutrition, mental performance, recruitment support, and select competitive teams. We are supporting you to be the best girls lacrosse player you can be on and off the field. Welcome back, everyone, to Ward Melville High School here in East Talk. It's semifinal action in the A Division of Boys Lacrosse Suffolk County. Mike Trezor, Jim Furchland on hand, our entire TD Sports video crew, the best crew in the business Tom, Jamie, Dave, and Christian. Northport looking to close this one out and advance to Stony Brook for a date with either Smithtown East or Connecticut. That game's going on as we speak. Now Maui with an infraction. And first time in a while we actually seen Ward Melville on offense. Here's Morgan. Morgan with the spin. Looking to get the shot away, defended well. Reynolds on the day. Morgan pulls it out high and he'll try to reset. Gets a pick from Murray. There's a shot, there's a save. Titman, 10 on the day. Michael Titman has been a wall this afternoon. Here's Belli. Looking to split defenders, instead he falls. Gets it to Murray. Murray's defended well by Cash. There's a push from behind with possession. Oh, Murray's getting physical. And we've got a little rhubarb breaking out around the cage there. That was with Titman. Let's take another look, Jim. And so right here, physical Titman getting right there, pushing down on him. Murray, a push off. And then you see retaliation from Cash and Reynolds saying, no, 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 no. It's starting to get chaotic. Got just over four minutes left. Team's showing a little good sportsmanship now, giving a little pat to each other. Titman, the emotional leader on this team, according to his coach. And he's keeping his emotions in check right now. What did we say, nine saves on the day or 10? He's got nine, but it's been an impressive. He had eight last time against Ward Melville three weeks ago. So stopping better than two-thirds of the shots that come his way. He had 12 saves against Huntington. 
and 13 against Longwood. But just remember that Longwood game, it's a one-sided. Down to 409 left. They talked about some possible rain in the forecast for this evening. Thank goodness we're going to get this one in before we see even the first cloud, Jim. No, no cloud at all today. Got a couple penalties up on the board. We got a two minute penalty. That's going to go on Reynolds. And Murray is going to get a one minute job. So Ward Melville on the man up. Morgan tries to look for room. Doesn't find a lot. Instead dumps it up top. Britman tries to get away from Miller. Barbero has been neutralized ever since the second half has begun. Here's Morgan. He's got Alfaro on him. Morgan, one of the four goals today for the Patriots. Belli over the shoulder. Shot hits the post. Rebound is loose. Knocked up in the air. And finally, Miller controls. I would count that save number 10 for Tittman. There's a hard shot, and there's a goal. Valenti. The one who iced it for Northport last game practically ices it again. Valenti makes it an even dozen. Where was this launch from? And Giancarlo. I know another guy who can rip it pretty quick named Giancarlo himself. That's his sixth goal of the season. He has now six goals in six different games. Every game that he's played, he now has two goals in each game against Ward Melville. He had one against Longwood, one against Walt Whitman, one against Bayshore, and also one against Port Washington. Scoreboard just went off. I don't know if that was intentional, but in either case, Northport leads 12 to four. Scoreboard's back on. The Giancarlo you mentioned, I wish he had six home runs on the season, or even six RBIs yeah. this season. Maybe six ABs. <laughs> but also some strategic thing to look at. Ever since Rosano scored to start the third quarter, it was 6-4. Six unanswered now for the Tigers ever since Rosano answered to begin the second half. Madden Murphy on the faceoff for Ward Melville. He's been alternating with Kitevsky, but Baumgart has been out there all day for Northport, and we got to give him a shout, Jim. Really nice job by him. Yeah, he's really shut down the uh, opposition, uh, being really physical and really frivolous in front of Ward Melville, getting the job done and getting in for possession with the Tigers. It'll definitely put a smile on Larry Sarasi's face. Ward Melville administration is asking that all Ward Melville students please leave the field. We are asking all Ward Melville students to please leave the field. Baumgart, just a sophomore, so he's got a couple more years of being a, not just a face-off specialist, but a kid who can contribute both on offense and defense as well as in the face-off circle. Three minutes left in the game. Northport up 12 to four. Baumgarth again comes away with it. Over physical, Matt and Murphy right there. And, and it's like We've got a timeout. We'll take a quick step away. Jump shot, leave your knee shot. We've got specialists for that. Face down after that face off. 
We've got specialists for that. Half pipe leave you full of pain? We've got specialists for that. Orland and Cohen's top orthopedic team has specialized expertise and extensive training from the nation's premier programs in sports medicine, knee, shoulder, hip, spine, hand, foot, and ankle, so you can feel better, faster. 2023-24 New York Riptide season tickets are on sale now. Join us at the Nassau Coliseum. Riptide games are action-packed and fun for the whole family. Don't wait. Get your season tickets now. Let's go, Riptide! We'll see you at the Coliseum. Lacks and a lie. Female-owned, female-coached, female-inspired. The only girls lacrosse sports performance company on Long Island. Training youth, high school, and collegiate female athletes from Suffolk and Nassau. We focus on skill, speed, strength, nutrition, mental performance, recruitment support, and select competitive teams. We are supporting you to be the best girls lacrosse player you can be on and off the field. Welcome back to Ward Melville High School in East Setauket. For the last three minutes of our semifinal, <clears throat> excuse me, our semifinal game, Mike Trezza, Jim Furchland, our entire Team D Sports video crew, and the winner of this game, Jim, which clearly looks like it's going to be Northport, is going to go on to meet the winner of St. Jim East and Connecticut. Connecticut, the top seed in the big schools here in Suffolk. Yeah, when you look at those two teams, you're looking at how about filling up the scoreboard. I mean, Northport, not really known for their offense, but their defense absolutely prevailed today. And you, like we were talking about, Baumgart was outstanding in the face-off position. And really, I think you have to give a spread of this game to either Michael Titman, Luke Lyakano, or even give some to Luca Almel, Almey, excuse me. But all around, Northport really came in with a level head and took care of business. Down to two and a half left in the game. Northport comfortably in front. Here's a turnover, back the other way is Murphy. Murphy carries it in, Titman turns him away. That's 11 on the day. Season high is 16 against Port Washington. That was in the first game of the year. Two minutes left. Cash on the far side. Murphy comes over to have a look at him. Cash scores in an empty net. Two on the day. Two on the day and two in the quarter. Cash heads up, saw the opportunity, saw the net was empty and put it in. What do you think of putting a goal in the net that late with no goalie in the net? I think it's fine. Play until the game hits double zeros. It's now seven unanswered for Northport. Northport led four to two after the first quarter. They were up six to three at halftime. Then the third quarter, they started pulling away. Nine to four, they went up. Now up 13 to four. So they've reeled off seven straight. Three different scores in this quarter alone. Got a late call coming in. It's going against Britman. One minute penalty. This is the part where if you're an official, you want to just make sure nothing gets crazy or out of hand here. You want to wind down that clock and make sure all these kids get out of here safely. Northport, if they do play Smithtown East, that was their worst loss of the season. And that occurred in early May, and they lost 11-3 to the Bulls. 
down to 45 seconds left in the game. Miller is going to hold. Down to 30. Down to 15 seconds left. Northport content to just hold the ball. Down to three, two, one. Northport comes out here to Ward Melville, and they take it convincingly by a score of 13 to four. We'll watch the celebration. Congratulations to the Tigers. They'll move on to the finals at Stony Brook Gym, where they'll meet either Connecticut or Smithtown East. And this Tigers team is legitimate. Give credit to Ward Melville. Their offense all year has was impressive. They put up 20 goals recently to Longwood, but still, uh, excuse me, Lindenhurst. Northport was just a different beast today. They had different, they had players that we did not expect to step up, really step up. And their names started with L, Luca, and Luke alone were spectacular offensively. Andrew Miller was fantastic defensively and offensively. I mean, you also got to look at Barbero had two of the four goals for Melville. But Northport all around, they were just a better team today. Loyacano, five goals as well as El Mala with four. Yeah, you had him with four. Also, uh, Miller had one, Cash with two, Valenti with one, and Della Birdie with one. So that's going to do it from here at Ward Melville in East Setauka, where once again our final score, Northport 13, Ward Melville 4. Our producer director is numero uno, Tommy Bruno. Our technical director, Jamie, the genius, Berko. Our camera operators, Dave, camera one, Stemple, and Christian, Kanga, Rue. For everyone here on our TND sports video production crew, including my partner, the eager beaver, Jim Furchland, this is Mike Trezor thanking you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow, Girls Flag Football Championship. Be with us at 4 o'clock. Thank <laughs> you.